what's up and welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new today I'm filming the day in the life of an ER tech I feel like I get asked a lot what my role is in the emergency department as an ER tech people just don't really know because it is a little bit different than like a nursing assistant so I figured I would take you guys along with me today it's about 5 39 a.m. and I just finished doing my hair and makeup I'm gonna get my work and lunch bag ready and have breakfast so this is my work bag it's just this little canvas tote with a monogram M for my name I actually found this on Amazon on, so I'll definitely link it below if you guys like it. It's a pretty durable work bag. Today I am bringing my planner with me because it's a weekend and I feel like I will be able to get some work done today. Cross my fingers, it's not busy. Tomorrow is the first day of fall semester, so I went ahead and printed the syllabus for each of the classes I'm taking, so I can go through that today if there's time. And here's my badge for work. This allows me to get into the emergency room department and any other place in the hospital that I have access to. So for lunch today, I am just packing a sandwich with some carrots and tzatziki cheese stick, apple, and then this is like my mid-morning snack, a Lara bar. And I got one of these yesterday for a little afternoon pick-me-up. And for my breakfast, I'm just having some oatmeal with bananas and cinnamon on top. Hey guys, it's 6.15 a.m., hence why it's so dark outside. I am leaving now. I'm gonna head to Starbucks, grab a coffee, and then head to work. So I just got to work, it's about 6.45. My shift starts at 7 a.m. and goes all the way until about 7.30 p.m. I'm gonna do my best to get some vlog footage for you guys at work today, but it all depends on how busy we are and for obvious reasons, I can't film patients or any areas where patients are at. And I also wanted to tell you guys why I became an ER tech. So in order to be an ER tech, you have to be an EMT, which I went to school to be an EMT a few years back because I need to get patient care hours in order to apply to PA school. I felt like I should just touch on that because obviously being an ER tech is not my and career goal. They don't make a ton of money, but it's definitely a better paying job for a college student. All right, let's go. So as an ER tech, we have daily sign-offs that we have to do every day, and one of them is to stock the rooms. So you can see I'm just going through the drawers and making sure that we have everything we need. We keep extra two by twos, tape, alcohol prep pads, tourniquets, specimen cups, literally all kinds of stuff in our drawers. And I love stocking in the mornings. I actually find it really relaxing. I just kind of get to work at my own pace and I love that. So this is a little peek at what one of our supply rooms looks like. We store and go through so much in the ER and we actually have two supply rooms, both of which have different things and they're on entirely opposite sides of the ER. But we pretty much come in here all the time to get things that we need throughout the day. And this is all of our IV stuff. Another one of the sign offs that we have to do when we're in triage is go around and do the control checks on all of the glucometers and we store these in multiple places but one of them is in our med room. We also have a suture cart which I did the sign off for too. We just have to make sure that it's fully stocked and there's actually a sign off sheet that we sign off on just to kind of verify that we went through and checked everything. We're also responsible for checking each of the crash carts. We have four in our department and there's another sign off sheet for that. We basically just have to go through and make sure that we have pads, paper, ambu bags, code sheets, and everything like that that we would need if a patient had a code. And then we also do control tests on our Zoll machines where we basically are just checking to make sure they're working properly plugged in and unplugged. In case we had to shock a patient, we wanna make sure that the machine can do that. And now I'm just grabbing some paper for the EKG machine and electrodes because we do EKGs all day long in the ER. The program that we use to document everything in the ER is called EPIC. It's a pretty popular system by Hyperspace and a lot of healthcare systems use it. This is the equipment the nurses use whenever they're checking a troponin on a patient, which is super common if they have chest pain. So 
So right now it is about 2.45 and I'm on my lunch break. Starting to feel really tired, which is why I'm so glad that I got this Starbucks drink. I'm actually gonna save it for a little bit later when I'm like really dying to go home, but it'll be a nice little treat because I normally do not have one of those. And we have a coffee shop in our hospital, but like it's not very good. So it's like Starbucks prices, but like, Dunkin Donuts quality. Actually, that's a lie. It's way worse than Dunkin Donuts. I started out my morning in the main ED. Um, we ended up having one of our techs call out, so there's only two of us on the floor today. Luckily, it's a weekend, so it hasn't been too terribly busy. So I did a lot of stocking in the main ED and like some checkoffs and stuff that they have us do every day. And then when the other tech came in, I went to triage. So now I'm just chilling in triage with a nurse and we just triage all the patients and then I send them to the rooms whenever the charge nurse puts a room in for them. Today I came up to the fourth floor to eat my lunch because I just felt like I needed a break, you know, from that place and I have a headache. Normally I always eat in the break room, but sometimes people come in there and they just talk the whole time and you just like need a little break from that. So yeah, I'll probably talk to you guys again when I get done. This morning I did manage to go through my syllabi for my classes that are starting tomorrow. I wrote myself a little to-do list. I actually have two quizzes already due tonight and then I need to put all of these dates in my planner as well as all of these dates and all of these dates. So right there along with EKGs, one of our primary tasks in the ER as a tech is to start IVs and draw blood on our patients. So I thought I'd show you guys what is in our IV carts. You can see all the little tubes of blood and we also have a bunch of other supplies in here. So some tourniquets, we got lure locks, blood cultures, flushes, needles, basically everything we need to draw blood and start IVs. Guys, I'm finally out of work. Thank God. So I made it back home. It's about 7.50 and ignore what I look like. This is what I look like after a 12 hour shift. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'm sorry I didn't get like a ton of footage while I was at work. It's just kind of hard. I mean, I do work a job where I can't just pull out my phone anytime I want. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're thinking about becoming an ER tech, it really is a great job as a stepping stone into a career in the medical field. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them if you leave them in the comments below. If you haven't already, be sure to click that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in my next video.